Hey everyone, it's Trevor again. So I've always thought this marsh crawler slogoth model is super nice, and it really reminds me of the Cart Titan from Attack on Titan, which happens to be my second most favorite enemy. So we're gonna convert this kit into a Warhammer 40,000 Cart Titan. Now, one of the most iconic images of the Cart Titan is with the giant anti-Titan gun mounted on its back. So I think we need to give our model a giant honking gun. Unfortunately, the biggest gun I had on standby was this mining laser from the Achilles Ridge Runner set, and there is no way this is big enough. So I went on down to the hobby store with my cart titan and my measuring tape, and I picked out a World War II tank model that should be great for this conversion. Okay, and I will do my best to pronounce this name, sorry to any native German speakers who are watching this video. I believe this is called a Panzerkampfwagen. You guys can let me know in the comments if I got that right. So anyway, I brought it home and I assembled the tank turret. I went ahead and removed most of the railings and walls of the howder mounted on the back of the Titan, and then I added our giant gun. Now this is gonna be an orc conversion, so I decided to remove this neat looking outer layer of protective armor and reattach it in a more messy, improvised looking fashion. After that, I cut up some more bits of the tank armor and glued them onto the top to form yet another howder. I grabbed a spare orc logo from the Orc Boys kit and glued it onto the side. Then I grabbed this extra mechanical looking arm from the Achilles Ridge Runner set and glued it onto the top of the gun. Next, I partially assembled an Orc Boy in a roughly sitting looking position. I chopped off his chopper hand, sanded down the connection points, chopped off the head of the chopper, and then reattached the hand with the shaft of the chopper facing inwards. So now when I stick him on top of the cart titan, he's gonna look like he's holding one side of the control. I'm gonna go ahead and use a spare bit of pipe to make the other side of the controls and I'm gonna glue together two pieces of scrap to make a little seat for our pilot. Oh yes, what a safe looking driver. Now I'm gonna grab a couple of these spikes that I cut off the original howder, coat some of the edges of the panels with plastic glue, then I'm gonna press the spike into the plastic glue and cut off the end to form a nice little rivet. And I'm gonna repeat this until all the panels look haphazard tacked on. Now we're gonna add some battle damage by cutting out some chunks, scratching some bits, drilling a couple of bullet holes, and of course setting fire to small portions of the armor. Let's add a little cover to that big hole in the center of the turret, and we're gonna get some milliput, roll it out really thin, and use it to make some haphazard looking power cables. Alright, now let's quickly do the base. So we're gonna grab some clay, dot the surface of the base with super glue, smoosh the clay onto the base, then we're gonna roll a ball of crushed up aluminium foil over a few portions of the clay to give it a bit of a weathered look. Now Attack on Titan takes place in a sort of pseudo medieval looking setting, so we're gonna add a cobblestone pattern to our base to give it that Attack on Titan feel. To do this, we're gonna grab a pencil, remove the eraser at the end, we're gonna bend this metal holder for the eraser in into a sort of rectangular shape, and then we're gonna use this to stamp out cobblestones into our base. And after much stamping, we're gonna have a cool cobblestone pattern. Now we just need to add our dedicated cabin crew, and I think we're ready to paint this thing. So I primed the orcs and the howder grey, but I primed the cart titan using wraithbone to make my life a little easier. Then I painted everything in my orc clan colours. Now in the anime, the cart titan has a very human looking complexion, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for ours. I went with a lighter colour for the cobblestones to try and match the colour palette from the anime, and once everything was painted, I glued it all together, lined the base with black, and of course I named our titan Peak. Unfortunately, I realised the colour of the skin and of the base were a little too close for my liking, so I just made the base slightly darker. And just like that, we're done with our Warhammer. 40k cart titan. Now I know it would make more sense for me to use this as some sort of tank or artillery piece, but orc tanks generally don't have 
bases. So it would be pretty hard for me to size this model correctly for it to be used in game as a tank. Therefore, I've put Peak on a 150mm oval base and given her a red loincloth so she can run really fast and function as a custom booster blaster. If you've enjoyed this video, do subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash trevorgoesmeat. I'd also like to thank my friend Brendan for buying me the original Marsh Crawler Slogoth as a gift. Alright, I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you all next time.